Tony Zach, 808 Winchester Lane. Um, I'd just like to uh, have a few quotes from the book. It's perfectly normal. I don't know if the entire board has actually read through this book or, or seen any of it. So, um, quote for children 10 and up. Most often sexual intercourse happens when two people feel very sexy and very attracted to each other and may also have very loving and romantic feelings about each other. These feelings often make them want to or describe to be very close to each other uh, in a sexual way. People can have these feelings for people of different gender or for people of the same gender or for all genders. Another quote uh, for kids 10 and up. One kind of sexual intercourse happens when a person with a female body and a person with a male body are so close to each other that the penis goes inside the vagina and the vagina stretches in a way that fits around the penis. This kind of touching can make the whole body feel good, feel sexy. Another quote for children 10 and up. Another kind of sexual intercourse happens when the sexual parts of two people who have female bodies touch and when the sexual parts of two people who have male bodies touch. This kind of touching can make the whole body feel good, feel sexy. Again, feel sexy, ages 10 and up. People of all ages masturbate, babies, kids, teenagers, grown-ups, and elderly. Girls and boys often start to masturbate at puberty, but many start before, again, age 10 and up. When the penis is touched and rubbed, the male body feels good both outside and inside, kind of tingly, kind of warm and nice. It feels sexy. Just a few uh, excerpts from uh, the book that we're talking about tonight. Now, I did a little research on Wikipedia this morning, and uh, this is what I found from Wikipedia after I Googled it. It's perfectly normal, has also, been a source, has also been a source of controversy. Many sources believe that this graphic novel portrays sexual content that is not age appropriate, including illustrations of nudity and sex, homosexuality, abortion, and religious viewpoints. According to the American Library Association, It's Perfectly Normal has been one of the most frequently challenged books of the past two decades. In fact, many public libraries challenged the book because of its content. For example, it was removed from school district library shelves in Clover Park, Washington, also in Charlestown, Pennsylvania. Most libraries often called the book child pornography. Most parents disagree with the concept of the book because they thought sexual education was not age appropriate for their children. Many believe that children should not encounter texts or illustrations of specific body parts, sexual identity, and sexual well-being yet, especially if their children are not supervised. So that was from Wikipedia as of today, December 13th, 2021. It has been brought to my attention that this book is on the approved reading list for the school districts around the United States. However, as a school district, just like Plover Park, Washington, in Charlestown, Pennsylvania, uh, we as a district can disapprove of this. I suggest that the district remove this book from uh, local distribution or, at the least, put, the put this in a restricted area that can be accessed with parent or guardian consent. So... Um, I, I heard people talk about uh, freedoms and, and things like that for the children's choice. And I believe that I've been coming to this meeting for, I don't know, for as long as I can remember now, and asking this board to give us a choice for our children to wear a mask or not. So I hear people say, uh, book burning communists, um, I'm wondering, uh, when I stand up here, when I, when I feel some people like to target me specifically, when I say at least we can maybe do something other than completely banning this book, which I don't necessarily agree with banning this book, but I do think that the parents out there, if this was in a restricted area where parents that are afraid that their child can just go in and pick up this book, how about we find some common ground, make a restricted area so then that parent or guardian can give that child their consent. So then again, of course, I, I can't leave without stating about the mask. If we're gonna give our children's freedoms to look at pornography in books like this, why are we not going to give them the option to wear a mask and make the masks optional? So it's funny because a lot of the people that are here in favor of this book, are the same ones that are in favor of keeping masks on our children and do not want to give them the option for the mask. So 
Thank you very much for your time. I respect and appreciate every one of you. And again, thank you very much. Have a great night. Oh, Amy. and oh. Merry Christmas. Amy Table.